Hello, welcome to the Lian's presentation of uh, wireless communication final project. And uh, the name of my project is Multipath Combination Performance Evaluation of DSUWB Rake Receivers. And uh, in this project, I realized uh, ultra wideband communication system model on the MATLAB. Uh, in MATLAB on MATLAB, and uh, the system consists of a data generator or module, a U ultra wideband channel module, and uh, finally the rake receiver and the decision module. And first, I'm going to introduce the outline of my presentation. The first one is introduction to UWB. In this section, I'm going to uh, introduce some fundam fundamental uh, ideas of ultra wideband technique. And the second section is the issues with the rake receiver. In this section, I'm going to introduce the rake receivers I realized in this project and uh, the comparison, performance comparison between them. And the third one I'm gonna, uh, the third one is ultra wideband simulation model. In this section, I'm not gonna introduce the uh, simulation details of my project. And uh, the fourth fourth one is the sim simulation results. The major simulation results I obtained in this project will be shown in this section and uh, analyzed. And the last one is future work. First, what is ultra wideband? Ultra wideband, which can be short as uh, UWB, is a te technology for transmitting information spread over a large bandwidth. Uh, in short distance communication, uh, it it does not need carrier in transmission and uh, uses pulse as the transmission method. So it is also called the pulse radio or carrier-free communication technique. And uh, here is the history of the ultra wideband technique. In 1960, the te the technique is first proposed. And now it is going through the application phase. One needs to mention that is that as a replacement for Bluetooth, um, it can, it has um, much better performance, may majorly in the transmitting speed in wireless uh, communication compared with Bluetooth. And uh, <clears throat> generally, ultra-wideband technique can be divided into two forms. The first one is known as DSUWB, which stands for Direct Sequence Ultra-Wideband. And the second one is MBOFDM-UWB, which stands for Multiband Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing. And uh, DSUWB, since DSUWB has outstanding multipath selecting performance using rake receiver in receiving and combining the detectable multipath components after uh, receiving the um, signal transmitted through the ultra wideband channel can greatly enhance the bit error rate performance of the uh, of uh, ultra wideband system. So, and the uh, <coughs> MRC rake receiver is known as the uh, best combination method under Gaussian white noise channel. But however, we with regarding with regard to the wi ultra wideband technique, MMSE rake receiver, which stands for maximum mean square error rake receiver, can achieve even better 
per BR performance. But the disadvantage of this kind of receiver is the complexity is too high. And here is a brief comparison between the simple MRC rake receiver and uh, the MRC rake receiver with equalizer and the MMSE rake receiver. We can see that uh, the MRC rake receiver is has the lowest complexity, and uh, but the, its performance is not acceptable. <clears throat> but and the uh, MMSE uh, rake receiver has very high com complexity, but the performance is the best. And in the middle, MRC rake receiver with equalizer, it has comparable bit error rate performance with the MMSE rake receiver, but the complexity of it, uh, of the MRC rake receiver with equalizer, it is much lower than the MMS MMSE. And in this project, through simulation, it is demonstrated that MRC rake receiver with equalization has relatively lower complexity and the comparable, meanwhile, comparable performance with MMSE rake receiver. And the key component is the equalizer. This is the structure of the equalizer. And uh, the figure shows the uh, the model uh, model of the overall system in this project. The direct sequence ultra wideband system model is uh, uh, consists of a transmitting module, ultra wideband channel module, and finally the rake receiver module. And the simulation is done in MATLAB R2010B. And the ultra wideband channel is the IEEE ultra wideband wireless channel. And the data length is set to 4000. And uh, the the uh, rake receiver shown in this figure is the MRC rake receiver I realized in this project. And uh, about the uh, about about the simulation results, uh, the original transmitted data. The ideal transmitted waveform and the orig uh, signal that the rake receiver rece receives and uh, recovers are shown in the figure. This figure. It can be seen that uh, after adding noise, the input signal of the rake receiver is quite different with the ideal transmitted waveform. But the transmitted data um, and the output signal of the receiver which is the recovered data are the same. This, uh, this uh, proves that the system, overall system works well. And uh, Next is the uh, comparison between MRC rake receiver and uh, MRC rake receiver with equalizer. <coughs> we can see that uh, MRC rake receiver with equalizer always has uh, better results, better performance uh, when compared with simple MRC rake receiver. Uh, but we can see one exception here. This can be explained as the uh, uh, Monte Carlo simulation uh, simulation, because the uh, as mentioned before, the data length is just four thousand. Therefore, the Monte Carlo simulation requirement is not fully uh, met. So. 
uh, on this point, uh, we have uh, I face some uh, um, some problem uh, with the uh, ex uh, with with the uh, expected uh, performance curve. Um, and uh, when the SNR is is large, the MRC rake receiver with equalizer is even better than the MRC rake receiver, simple MRC rake receiver. And uh, with the uh, uh, pro uh, ultra wideband system established in this project, the conclusion that MRC rake receiver with equalizer. Uh, performs much better than simple MRC rake receiver can be drawn. And uh, since the receiver performance is relevant with the number of branch of the receiver, and the MRC rake receiver with equalizer can perform equally well with simple MRC rake receiver and even M MSE rake receiver with less branches Therefore, the hardware cost can be reduced. And due to some um, due to some uh, problem in some as aspects, the future uh, there's still uh, many things to do in the future work. The first one is is the MMSC uh, rake receiver is still very attractive if its complexity can be greatly reduced. And due to the limit of simulation device, Monte Carlo simulation is not fully met, so further simulation is expectable. And thank you for watching. Next, next I'm going to show the, the program, program's results. Now the program is running. And the first graph is the uh, real-time uh, estimation results. We can see that the blue dots are uh, is the uh, actual path. And uh, when there is some uh, activities, I mean, there is information in the uh, actual path. And uh, uh, the, the estimated results uh, can match uh, almost uh, right with the uh, actual path activities, but as time goes on, uh, when the there's less activities in the actual path, we can see that the estima estimated results will have some errors. Now we can see that when the noise is lower and uh, and the activity in the uh, actual path becomes uh, less, the estimate estimation results uh, encounter some problem here.
And this is the final result. In this figure, the uh, pulse shape is shown. This pulse is used in the simulation system. And this is the uh, transmit original transmitted data, the output signal, which is the recovered data of the uh, rake receiver and the ideal transmitted waveform and the uh, input signal of the receiver. And in this graph is the uh, bit error rate performance, which has been shown in the slides. And, uh, and that's all. Thank you for watching.